What's going on, everybody? It's How To Tuesday, and we're continuing our knot wars. I want to thank you for the suggestions on which knots to try, what kind of connections you want to see tested. And today, we are going to do one of your suggestions. I got this on the text line. You can always text 305-930-7346. That's the way that you can make suggestions for the show, whether that's guests or knots or whatever you want to talk about that's the best way to reach the show. There is also a dedicated email address. Uh, it's not as fast if, to get a response from me, but that is podcast at saltwaterexperience.com. If you prefer to go that route, that's fine. And because of your suggestion, we're going to test another very popular way to tie a line to a lure, a line to a hook, and that is a loop knot. A loop knot is used so that you get more action out of your fly, out of your lure, out of your hook, out of your bait, and sometimes the loop knots are the strongest connections. We're going to find out today if it's stronger than some of the other ones that we've tied. But we're going to take two very popular loop knots for the lighter line, and those two knots are the uni knot, which is fantastic, and we've already used the uni knot a couple times in this in this series of testing knots. The uni knot is a knot that you can use in so many different ways, one of which you can either snug it all the way down to the hook or you can leave it as a loop knot. That's what we're going to test today. The uni as a loop knot, and we're going to go up against one of my favorite knots, the non-slip mono loop, which was made famous by Lefty Cray, and he tested that knot. He claims it's 100%. We're going to find out. Uh, today we're using the Daiwa J braid. I mean the Jai the <laughs> easy for me to say. We're using the Daiwa fluorocarbon. We're going to test this stuff on 20 pound fluorocarbon, and we are going to tie all of these knots onto a Gamakatsu three aught circle hook. These are brand new hooks, so they they don't have any rust in the eye or anything like that. So they're brand new. That's one of the things you want to make sure of when you're when you're testing these things. You want to test exactly the same way on everything. So you're not using different fluorocarbon or different hooks or jigs or whatever. Test it, whatever you use, test it across the same way. So what I've chosen to use is the, the just the hook that I had available right here. It was a 3 out Gamakatsu. That's what we're doing. I've pre-tied the, um, the uni knot and the non-slip mono loop, and we're going to test that right now and see which is the strongest. Another big suggestion is when you're testing these on a hook or a lure or anything like that, make sure you're wearing eye protection because when this thing pops, it goes who knows where, and it, you don't want it to go into your into your eye. So I've got our Next Tech Force Tester, which is the same thing. We've been testing all these knots on the same thing. So just as you want to test the same fluorocarbon, the same hook, and all that, you also want to test on the same scale so that you're getting a uniform uh, result all the way across, and that way uh, you're, you're getting the best test. Okay, so we've, we've zeroed out this scale. We've reset it. It's sitting at zero. I'm going to wrap it around this, this uh, rubber dowel, and I'm going to start pulling. So this is the uni knot with a loop. It's going to probably slip down to the hook first and then break. We'll, we'll, be, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that we're there. It slipped down to the hook, and here we go. Very strong. Very strong. Wow. Okay. Let's see where that one broke. So that was the double. Or that was the uni. And the uni broke at 18.43. 18.43 on 20-pound test. So almost 100%. It'll be very interesting to see if the um, if this next one which is Lefty Cray's favorite loop knot, and one of mine too. I've caught a lot of fish on this, and, and I do have a tremendous amount of confidence in it. It is the non-slip mono loop. Now, if you don't know what the non-slip mono loop is, and you may not know how to tie a, a uni knot, I have a knot course. You can go to waypointtv.com. You can get this knot course. Of course, these, vi these are probably available on YouTube and all kinds of other places, but if you want to see how I tie it and, and the, the way that I'm doing it on all of these knots. You can go to that knot course. It's reasonably priced. You can get that, and, uh, and you can see all of these different knots. The link will be in the description on how you can get that, and you can learn how to tie these knots. I think there's about 40, 40 knots in that knot course. 
All right, so now we've got this reset. It's sitting on zero, and we're going to tie the non-slip mono loop on 20-pound braid, and let's see how this one does. I'd be surprised if it is less than 100%. There we go, pulling steady. Oh, I never put my sunglasses on. <laughs> okay, here we go. I got a phobia of getting hit in the eye. Very strong. Very, very strong. Wow. That's cool. That one felt like it was stronger. Yep. 19.65. 19.65. So today's Knot War goes to the non slip mono loop over the uni knot. That might surprise some people. But Lefty Cray knows, man. He was a guy that tested everything. He says it's it's 100%. You could round this up to 20, right? So it's really close to 100%. I turned this three times back through the hole, okay? That is that is the non-slip mono loop. It is damn near 100%. Okay, so today's knot war goes to the non-slip mono loop. Again, you can find all these knots in the knot course. And if you have suggestions on knots that we should try or connections that we should try that we haven't done yet, send me those at 305-930-7346. Now, the cool thing about this, um, this scale and maybe whatever scale that you're using is that this one, this one broke, it flies off the table and lands on the ground, and I can pick it up and see how much it broke. So whether or not you're, you're doing this, if, if you just have a regular scale and you have a friend there, uh, you may not be getting as accurate of a, of a reading if they're calling out, okay, you're at 19, pow. Okay, well, you, don't, you, you know, maybe it's close or whatever. But there's a lot of different ways to do this. You don't have to invest in a really expensive scale. But it is great if the scale will either blink at the, at the breaking strength or show you somehow the breaking strength. That's what I like about this particular scale, um, which is a, what they call a force tester. So... That's, that's the benefit of this, and that's why we're testing on this. All right, next week we're going to try another knot. So send me your suggestions at 305-930-7346, and we will see which knot is the strongest because that is exactly what we're doing, trying to find that, control the controllable. The most controllable thing we can do is control the tackle that we use, use the strongest knots, testing them out just like this. All right, that's it for today. See you next week.